Hello everybody, this is Evangelist T. Um, today on the journey we're talking about mountain highs and valley lows. Even the believer can have a mountain high and valley low experience. Um, as far as my life is concerned, I've had a lot of lows, a lot of testing, a lot of trials, a lot of faith pruning and proving. And it is okay because that's what God has called me to do. But even in that, sometimes you get a little weary, not not tired. Because, see, you're tired. You can lay down. You can take a rest. And, and everything is okay once the nap is over, when, once the vacation is over. But when you become weary, rest does not get rid of weary. Vacation does not get rid of weary. Um, sleep, it does not get rid of weary. Only the Holy Spirit and God's Word can handle weary. And 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 today I'm I'm a little weary. I'm a little weary today. I I've had to cut some friends loose, some 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 people that I were holding on to that are selfish. They're they're takers and they're not givers. And and God showed me some things this is my birthday week and I had to let them go. And it's okay. My heart is just grieved for them though because they don't get it. But it's okay, you know those type that you sacrifice for them, and when you have the least and much and much less than them, and yet um, they they can't even consider you, you know it, it it's deep, and yet they still want to take from you. It's deep, you know. But I'm okay. I, I got peace. And that's one thing. When God tells you to cut some things go, you immediately have peace, and there's no doubt and there's no question in your mind that what you're doing is ordained, orchestrated by God. But um, today on the journey at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you're in the Cleveland area, it's AM 1000. Even if you're in the Cleveland area or elsewhere and you want to just view it over the internet, it's www.thewordradio, the number 1000.org. <clears throat> yeah, my voice, right? And then um, if you have a smartphone, an iPhone, the app is radio and the number 1000 If you want to view us live or view the show later, we are on Ustream. So you go to Ustream.com and we're TR Ministries. The TRM is capital. So we are TR Ministries. That is the channel. And you can view us live. Again, it's today, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mountain highs and valley lows. I just got hit with another low. Um, I my lights were out like five days from the hurricane, and I called to see if there was some compensation for the food I lost in my freezer. And they said, well, are you on welfare? No, ma'am, I'm not. Well, do you get at least food stamps? No, ma'am, I'm not. Well, unfortunately, there's no help for you. you there's no room in the end, huh? And so it, 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 it caused a tear to hit me in my eye, in the corner of my eye, like right there. And, and I was like, God... It's okay, because you have never left me yet. I was young, and now I'm old, well, older. But yet, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And God, I'm your seed, and I know you will not have me beg for bread. And so, as I know was coming in, my spirit was still saying, yes, God, I will trust you. And so will you trust God in the mountain highs as well as the valley lows? Or is your faith and your joy predicated on the happenings in your life? Can you praise him when you're on the mountain just like you praise him when you're in the valley? And for some of us, the answer is no, because when we're in the valley, we don't praise him. It's easy to praise God when your hand is full. Oh, but when your hand is empty, that's when he wants that full praise. That's when he wants that Shabbat. That's when that Shondo got to come in there. But do we do it? So today, on the journey, mountain highs and valley lows, Pastor T and I, Evangelist T, would love for you to tune in for a tune-up. Be well and be blessed.